AWS Storage Gateway is a hybrid cloud storage service that gives your on-premises applications access to virtually unlimited cloud storage. Hi guys, this is Abhi from GokchaDB. And in this video, you're going to learn seven things about the storage gateway in AWS. Let's get into it. Number one, AWS Storage Gateway allows you to simplify storage management and reduce costs for various hybrid cloud storage use cases, such as moving backups to the cloud, using on-prem file shares backed by cloud storage, and providing low latency access to data in AWS for on-prem applications. Stay tuned, there's more to come. Number two, the service offers four different types of gateways. Tape Gateway, S3 File Gateway, FSx File Gateway, and Volume Gateway. These allow your on-prem apps to connect to the cloud storage by caching data locally for low latency access. Howdy, partner! Number three. As a native AWS service, Storage Gateway integrates well with other AWS services, such as CloudWatch, CloudTrail, IAM, and KMS for both security and monitoring activities. Giddy up! Number four, Storage Gateway seamlessly connects to your local production or backup applications with NFS, SMB, and ISCSI protocols. This allows you to adopt AWS cloud storage without needing to modify your applications. Number five, the service delivers end-to-end -end protection of customer data from the storage gateway in the enterprise network to the data residing in AWS while encrypting data in transit using SSL. That's what I'm talking about. Number six, storage gateway provides high availability on VMware through a set of health checks that allows the service to automatically recover from most service interruptions in under 60 seconds. Last but not the least, number seven. As of this recording, you can ingest 100 gigs of data through AWS Storage Gateway for free using the AWS free tier. Attention! In summary, AWS Storage Gateway is a hybrid cloud storage service that helps you reduce maintenance and scaling challenges associated with managing on-prem storage environments. There you have it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.